Hey guys, Film Crazy Adam here. To those of you who've just found this channel and this video, hey, I appreciate you rolling the dice and I hope you enjoy what you see. To those of you that continue to roll the dice for some reason, I really appreciate you coming back and I hope you continue to enjoy what you see. Anyway, uh, this is going to be a short video. Uh, it's titled uh, uh, Pray Afterthoughts and Additional Housekeeping. Uh, I, this video is primarily going to be like some behind the curtain stuff, uh, explain what I've been doing, uh, what's coming up, why the Predator video came out, or the Prey video came out on Wednesday instead of Sunday. Um, and also I'm going to add to the review. Like I, You might have not even watched the review yet because it, it, it's an hour long. I went really long on that video, though trust me, it's I, I mean everything I say and I, I'm pretty thorough about that movie. So I mean like, I didn't half-ass that, <laughs> that review at all, but like I... That, that being said, I admittedly admit that it's a long review. So if you haven't watched it yet, I don't blame you. Anyway, but I hope you do watch it. Anyway, so um, I did say at the end of the review, like there was a, a few things that popped into my head and then popped out of my head. Well, I remembered them, and so I'm going to put those in now, plus a couple things that um, actually went, be, uh, went under my radar that my brother actually... Uh, my my brother actually uh, pointed out one or two things, and in fact, that's part of the behind the curtain. So you know, I'm not throwing my brother on, under the bus by any means. But after I watched the review on on a Saturday, I started to uh, I, I I watched the movie on Saturday and, and filmed the review on Sunday, and didn't get a chance to um, edit it because my brother came over for dinner. But I knew he was coming over for dinner, so it's not like it was out of the blue. But so that's why it didn't get done on Sunday, and I was gonna get it up on Monday. In fact, I did edit it on Monday. It's I spent about four hours, four or five hours, editing that review. And if you've seen the review, you're gonna be like, "How did that take four or five hours?" Well, it's because I spliced in a lot of the movie with that review. Like anytime I'm talking about a specific scene, I had myself split screen split screen where I was down in the corner and I had the, the, the video up in the opposite corner. And so I did that so that you could see exactly what I was explaining, what exactly what I was talking about, how the scene was so garbage. Um, unfortunately, because I, it wasn't just like a quick 15 second clip, I used actually a lot of clips, but like repeated bottom line is I got blocked by Disney. So after I made it, after I spent so much time on this review with all this editing and all these clips, I couldn't get it posted. I tried once didn't work so I went back into the video editor went back into the project and I mirrored all the all the images all the prey images so they were reversed and I was hoping that would kind of fool the sensors but it did not immediately after posting it or like before it even finished processing it got blocked so that was so yesterday is uh so, so uh, I tried to post the first time yet on Monday, then the second time yesterday, and then re-edited it yesterday, and then I was able to, I just said, fine, and I just removed basically 99% of all the footage and just put me on the review. And so that's the one that was able to get posted. Um, yeah, so that's why I took Wednesday when, you know, I could have had this thing up like on, so <laughs> I, I could have, if I, if I, didn't plan to edit it like I did it would have been up probably like Monday afternoon but that's neither here nor there but now but I also have learned and moving forward I won't make that mistake anyway um so here are the things that I wanted to talk about that I forgot and other things that uh like I said went under my radar so um first of all uh, I saw this tweet some time ago where it says, uh, Prey should be the template for all the horror franchises. Drop a xenomorph into feudal Japan. Do Final Destination on a 17th century pirate ship. Let the ancient Greeks crack open the Hellraiser box. Well, that's kind of what Predator has become. Well, I, you know what? No, no, no. So, what Predator is, has become... And what this tweet is talking about, whether they know it or not... They're actually talking about... A game called um, a little-known game that wasn't really well made, called uh, *Deadliest Warrior*, made in uh, 2010, I believe, and uh, put out by um, Spike Games. And *Deadliest Warrior* was—I can only imagine that this was the culmination of two drunk college bros one night saying, "You know, it'd be funny if like a pirate fought a ninja, or a, a, 
a medieval knight fought an Apache warrior? Like, who would win in that fight? No, man, the Apache warrior would be more. Oh, all right, well, what about um, you know, one of the Huns if they fought against a, a gladiator? Who do you think would win in that fight? Like, that's the type of conversation that I have no doubt happened. But that's exactly what deadliest warrior is, and that's what Predator has become. You know, he fought. He he fought uh, Marines in the jungle in Predator One, and then he fought a um, a cop in in uh, L.A. in 1997 L.A. And then in Predators, you know, you had a yakuza, and you had um, a Mexican cartel, and you had a psychopath, and you had um, a special forces guy, and you and you had uh, what else did you have? I think I felt I feel like there was more, but like you're getting all these archetypes. And, uh, and and then, of course, with Prey, Predator is now fighting a Native American. And so, yeah, like, Predator is now just becoming live-action versions of this game from 2010 Deadliest Warrior, where if you haven't played the game, duh, I wouldn't. It, like I said, it's very badly designed, but, I mean, it is. It's, okay, so, you know, you have a pirate versus, you know, you, you have... I forget, I think it was like 10 characters to choose from, and they were all archetypes. Like I said, uh, a medieval knight, a ninja, a pirate, an Apache warrior, um, one of the Huns, um, a gladiator, or um, a Roman centurion. So you have all these archetypes, and it literally is just like you fight them in, like I said, it's a badly designed game. So, yeah. You know, that, whoever this is thinks he's probably really smart and original, but really it's been done. It's been done... Uh, He's talking about a game that's already been uh, done 12 years ago. But, um, you know, if you ask me, is that a good idea? It's like, not really. I saw another one that, um, another tweet that basically, it was the same thing where it's like, you know what they should do with a predator is drop him into feudal Japan and like fight a, fight a samurai. And it, it's a, it's a stupid idea. Like, it's a fun kind of, like I said, drunk college bro conversation to have. Like, who do you think would win in a fight? But, I mean, you could do that. Yeah, I can say that with with anything, you know. Who would fight? Goku or Superman? You know, who would fight? Who would win in a fight? Bat, uh, Batman or Spider-Man? You know, it's those stupid, like, what-if fights that you, that you come up with over dinner. But, anyway, enough on that. So, my brother actually pointed this out. There, So, the scene where uh, Naru... Uh, downs the pedals first of all she downs them and like predator has got to be within like 30 yards at that point because he literally just walks up like casually walks up so he's less than a football field away so he would have seen her at that point anyway but like she downs these flowers and it drops her temperature instantly and my brother pointed out it's like well the ambient temperature is like in you know the, the ambient temperature outside at that at that point was probably like you know 50 degrees or like high 50s so it's like he her 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 body temperature just dropped below um below 60 degrees she should be dead and i was like oh man how did i miss that but he's right for the for the human body to operate we're we're warm-blooded we have to operate at a temperature only like a couple only a few degrees uh between normal you know, high and low, it has to be within like uh, plus five or plus or minus five degree of of uh, variation of normal operating procedures. If not, we die. You know, if we're too cold, the the organs shut down. If we're if it's too hot, well then well the organs shut down. But bottom line is like you can't like this magical flower. First of all, this magical MacGuffin flower is bullshit in and of itself. But he but yeah, like for the temperature for them to be masked. From the predator's vision, they would have to lose about fifty percent of their body temperature. Uh, like Naru would have had to lose about fifty percent of her body heat, and she would have died. So, bam, you know that's another fuck this movie kind of thing uh, that I, I thank for my brother for pointing out. And then like another thing that um he kind of uh, started the ball rolling in my head was that Naru. When she sets up the last French guy as bait for the predator in that scene, in the scene I was just talking about, she uh, jury rigs his gun so that it won't fire. But the predator only sees this guy holding a gun, so it's up. Oh, he's he's armed. I can take him out. And then it occurred to me after something my brother said that 
Naru has no understanding of how guns work. In fact, like when the translator gives her the gun from Predator 2, he has to explain in detail how to operate it to her. And even then, she screws it up. Like she doesn't get it right the first the first time that she tries to fire it. And and so I was like, she has like first of all, those guns are are annoyingly complex to begin with. The guns we have uh, present day, of course, are streamlined, quick, automatic. They got springs. Everything loads auto, uh, instantly, automatically, and it's just like a quick lever to arm it. And then like you pull the trigger, and it and it you know it auto fires. So a lot more streamlined than what it was back then and people still mess up guns today and so this girl is messing around with a flintlock that she has never seen in her life had had a very um quick and dirty how to load it you know no idea of how to maintain it no idea uh no instruction on how to um repair it or augment it so how did she like how did she how other than like i guess like the only possible way and they didn't show it on screen, is that, like, she took a rock and just bashed, you know, bashed it or something. But, I mean, the French guy didn't notice that the that the gun was all jacked up, so I'm assuming that, like, we're supposed to believe that she sabotaged it, that she jury-rigged it so that it wouldn't fire. So she has this in-depth knowledge of how to alter and manipulate um, guns and metallurgy and... All the all the mechani- mechanisms on this device to make it look like it was operational, but it wasn't. So, yeah, that's another thing. Like, fuck this movie. Fuck that movie. Um. Anyway, um, that's pretty much all I've got, and uh, I'll I'll wrap it up here. So, uh, really, the only other thing is, um, Hulk. Uh, she Hulk comes out tomorrow, and I'm gonna start watching that. I was also. Finally, going through my comments, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out um, what how YouTube has has changed their layout over the last uh, decade or so, or half decade. But anyway, I've gone through the comments and I've I've had um, one or two people ask uh, for requests and stuff. So I'm going to start watching watching these shows and uh, movies that have been requested of me. And again, if anyone has uh, you you if you have a request, please uh, drop it in the comments and I'll be. I'm going to be more on top of uh, responding to comments. Like, I've responded to stuff that got posted like three weeks ago, and I'm sorry it took me this long to get back to you. But anyway, that's it for today. Um, I'm, uh, you might watch this before you watch the Prey one, but um, if you, I, I do, if you have, if, if that's what happened, I do wish you'd go back and watch the Prey one. I, I like, I think it was a pretty good review. Anyway, um, like I said, that's all I got for now. So, like, um, Hey, if you liked uh, what you saw, I'd appreciate a, a sub and a, and a like. If you didn't like what you saw, well, you know, I, I hope we can still be friends, and I hope there's something else that I made that you do like. Anyway, that's all I got for now. I'll see you guys this weekend.